Breaking news. Putin, Russia's president, will meet with Wang Yi, China's foreign minister, in St. Petersburg. China has maintained its neutral position throughout the Ukraine conflict, while providing Moscow with critical financial support. On Wednesday, Russian President Vladimir Putin will meet with his Chinese counterpart, Foreign Minister Wang Yi, continuing the series of high-level meetings between Moscow and Beijing. In light of Russia's increased international isolation following its offensive in Ukraine, Wang Yi's four-day visit to the country demonstrates the importance both countries place on their diplomatic relations. According to Dmitry Peskov, a spokesman for the Kremlin, today Putin will receive Wang Yi, the Chinese foreign minister. Despite its consistent neutral stance, China has provided Moscow with critical diplomatic and financial support throughout the Ukraine conflict. Wang Yi and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov met earlier this week to talk. Reiterating Beijing's position on the Ukraine conflict, Wang reportedly emphasized the need for peace talks, as reported by Chinese state media. U.S. and NATO officials have expressed doubts about the position ever since it was made public earlier this year. The strategic partnership between Russia and China, often called No Limits, encompasses both economic and military ties. During a state visit to Russia in March, Chinese President Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin showed that their countries were united in their opposition to the West. Local authorities have reported that the Kerch Bridge, which connects Crimea to Russia, is currently closed to traffic. Traffic on the Crimean Bridge is currently suspended, according to a telegram message from the Regional Roads Information Center. All passengers and pedestrians on the bridge and in the inspection area should remain calm and comply with the directions of transportation security personnel at all times. Simultaneously, smoke began to roll in from the opposite side of the Crimean Peninsula, near Sevastopol. Russian authorities in Crimea frequently employ smokescreens to foil drone attacks. The governor of Sevastopol, Mikhail Razvajayev, reassured the locals by saying that aerosol masking means were being used. Preliminary data suggest that UAVs were shot down in Verkhnesadovoy and Kacha, both close to the city, due to the efforts of air defense means. Zero people were hurt. Videos supposedly showing a large plume of smoke rising from a location near Verkhnesadovoy, where a Russian military base is located, were posted on unofficial social media channels in Crimea. To provide some background, the Kerch Bridge connecting the Russian mainland and the illegally annexed Crimean Peninsula has been attacked multiple times. On August 12, Russian officials claimed that the strategic bridge was the target of an attack from Ukraine, with multiple missiles being shot down. Two civilians were reportedly killed and the bridge was damaged when Ukraine used an experimental sea drone to attack it on July 17. Russia's war effort in Ukraine relies heavily on the Crimean Bridge, which connects Russia to the southeastern and eastern regions of Ukraine that it has annexed. 